this is not even fell to the line yet. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Fob Eats. In this episode, we're gonna do ramen noodles, which I just bought from the 7-Eleven, uh, like 10 minutes walk down the street. The whole day, I've been busy editing the video. Basically, that video was me speaking Spanish. Puto. Uh, <laughs> mané, 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 mané. In uh, the, the, the drop. Usually, I start off my day at like 12 or something. And I've been working on, on that video ever since like 2 in the afternoon. Right now, it's 11 p.m. Hungry like a motherfucker. Right now, I'm hungrier than a motherfucker. I know y'all motherfuckers are hungry like I am. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. A motherfucker is hungry, man. Hey, that's great. We just figured out Blue's Clues. So, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna smack on these ramen noodles that I just got from 7-Eleven, the top ramen. For ramen noodles, to be honest, I never heard about like none of the like Maruchan ramen noodles, top ramen. Shin ramen, Korean spicy ramen noodle. I don't know what the brand is. Yeah, like none of those like ramen noodles brands are like popular in China. I used to have a whole case of Maruchan Mar ramen noodle sitting in my dorm room late at night. I'm hungry. I didn't get enough not to eat during the day. I'll just put it in a microwave and it'll be ready in a minute. So it's real convenient. At the meantime, I don't really fought with the roast beef flavor of ramen, ramen, ramen noodle because it really tastes like nothing to me. To be honest, like Maruchan ramen noodles, I don't really fought with because first of all, I only got one flavor packet in there. Second of all, the flavor is not really my type, you know what I mean? My favorite flavor is probably on the spicy end. You normally like spicy shit. That's why I fought with Shin ramen more. Right now, I'm just walking back to my dorm room quiet as fuck right now look around me bro there's literally no one literally no one on the street damn man right now the campus is quiet like a motherfucker as you guys can see behind me is, is this road called the speedway psych right now it, it is 11 30 p.m um sunday night there, there's really nobody bro in China, we have like a lot of different ramen noodles brands. I promise you guys that some of them are actually pretty good. I'll, I'll put all of the brands of ramen noodles that I know from China on the screen. But today, we're gonna try out two different flavors of top ramen. One flavor is uh, the soy sauce flavor. The other one is the chicken flavor. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I'm gonna eat both of them. Let's see what I can cook out with my microwave in my dorm room. I'll see you guys in a minute. Fop is episode number four, top ramen. Let's get it. Right here, we have two top ramens. One is the chicken, the other one is soy sauce. Like I mentioned before, like I'm not even gonna cat with you guys. I already had this, this flavor before. Um, it's pretty good, but today I'm gonna make a comparison between the chicken flavor and the soy sauce flavor top ramen. When I first heard about the top ramen, it was when I was watching uh, a video by China Mac. So right here we have top ramen, which is the cheapest of ramen. This is the ramen that they sold inside prison. This is the ramen that I was so tired of. All right, top ramen. <clears throat> Let's see what's up. Let's put them in the microwave, cook them up and see what's up. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Always read the instructions. Be sure to um, set aside the, the flavor sauce pouch. The last time I didn't really read through all of them, so I didn't know I should set the flavor sauce pouch aside. I just dumped all the seasonings in there, including the flavor sauce. Well, it, it came out all right to me. Mm, three minutes. Hi, uh, a thousand watts. Like, I don't really know. Like Nope. 
I'll put it on for a minute, and just in case, all right. Let's move the fuck away. The flavor sauce, set it aside. Little chicken powder. How the fuck do they, do they make something taste like chicken, but we add it in. Gotta make sure you clean up the whole packet. If I don't clean out the whole packet, it ain't good. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to ramen noodles, always remember everything. Dump all the seasonings you can in there because you'll pay it mainly for the season. Just add in a little vegetables. I'm finna add in a little bit more of this uh, vegetables in, inside my ramen noodles as well. I am Lattis, my name starts with an L. I am loaded with potassium, your table's where I dwell. We are the vegetables, we hope you like our song. Let me just add in like both of these. As always, everything is dumped inside. Currently within the vegetable pack, we also have some red pepper. As I smell it, oh shit, it's actually really spicy. So I'm kind of excited for this one. Gotta make sure it fell to the line. Ramen noodles are falling off at this moment. Quick check on how our ramen noodles are doing. Not even fell to the line yet. Gotta make sure it fell to the line. One more minute, okay. But right now I can already smell the little the seasoning is mixed up with a little whiff of vegetables that you put in there. Like that's the best smell. It almost smells like a home cooked dish. Both of the ramen noodles ready right now. The most important is that putting in the seasoning sauce, the flavor sauce, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the seasoning, the sauce. You can already see that shit flowing out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. <laughs> Stir them up with my fork. Ramen noodle soup. Ramen noodle soup. This one is properly stirred up, and then we're gonna do the next one. I just added in the little flavor sauce for this one. The flavor sauce, apparently it is sesame oil. Got all over my hand. Right now I smell like sesame oil, but it smells really good, bro. Like I would love to wear a cologne that has the smell of sesame oil. And that's gonna be great because you already know egg girl likes a man who, who smell good. At the meantime, if your smell indicates that you can cook, it's even gonna be better. Husband, the fuck up. Right on the scene, the fuck. Which one is gonna win? Chicken or soy sauce? We're gonna see, all right? both of the ramen noodles in front of me like spoon is really important when it comes to eating ramen noodles because you're always gonna have the taste of that soup if you drink all the soup at the end what's the point of eating the noodle because the noodle itself don't really got a, a lot of flavor in it like i'm gonna quit the talking you know because the the the, the noodle is sucking up all the water mm, mm, mm. this one's flavor is actually really good especially when it is had with the soup you guys can see like right now like inside of my spoon there's some soup in there mm. the chicken flavor is definitely in there tastes a little bit salty but it's not too salty what at the meantime i didn't expect the noodles to be to be this chewy because it is cooked out of the microwave at the end of the day it just tastes like chicken it just tastes like chicken soup you know what i'm saying so I like the flavor of this one. And then we're gonna give the soy sauce flavor a chance. Mm. Mm. Actually, let me just take a whole sip of their soup real quick. And yeah, I can taste a little bit of the um, sesame oil flavor. As a matter of fact, I'm a big fan of sesame oil because shout out to my hometown, our traditional dish actually involves Two simple ingredients, sesame oil and peanut butter. These two simple ingredients mixed up with a white, white strip noodle, muy bien. 
You already know Malik is a trilingual king from the last video. Mm. 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 It's decent, but the flavor is not as strong as this chicken flavor. You know what I mean? The flavor is more subtle. This thing is like roundhousing the motherfucker. But this thing basically is just give you a, like a light jab. You know what I mean? So from my personal opinion, this one is better. At the same time, the vegetable turned out to be super good. So right now, I'm not gonna talk the whole time while I was eating. The vegetables are good. The chicken is good, is better than the soy sauce one. The chicken flavor is the winner. Fuck this dude, fuck this dude, like, nah, no good. I'm up to no good, for real. Fob Eats, episode number four, Top Ramen Noodles. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Peace out. I was broke as fuck, down on pull my ass, had the lowest luck. Used to ride the bike up to the store, I need a rover truck, a Billy Coop. Yeah, I'm wearing Prada, I like Fendi too.